Well, hello there, person. Hey, let's check out what's new making the game Wraithbinder. This week's been all focused on making a forge. So, the forge is a place where you can go and forge items. Buy stuff. Heck, let's turn off all the items for this player right here so we can see what it's like. For realsies. We're going to go to Nax, character Nax, and take off the cloak I've already bought and the hairstyle I've already bought. There we go. Boop. Boop, 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 boop. So we go to this forge thing, and we can spend um, credits and experience in uh, real money even to buy stuff um, in this video game. So you're earning credits and things like that from your battles, mm -hmm. and you can spend your credits on stuff. But you can also spend real dollars to get cosmetic only and other ethical peripheral microtransactions possibly. We'll see how this game goes. I'm not exactly sure exactly what we're going to do for monetization for this video game yet, but... The, either way, this forge is going to be a cool place where you can go and get fun stuff for your player. So, um, let's we'll start off with a haircut, right? Right now, we have no hair. Um, you can see that right here. A bunch of other places. But we're going to go to this cosmetics. Let's choose one of these haircuts to get. This is some fun haircuts, right? You can rotate your character while you're uh, on this menu here. I love this, this mohawk, this tall mohawk right here. There's the donut. Yeah. Let's get the tall haircut. The that right there and after you do that your character is reloaded and boom you got a haircut oh there's also long hair you can get added to your existing it stacks with your existing haircut so let's get some long ponytail haircut going on feeling really cool like this this is pretty neat because um your long hair actually blows in the wind when you jump with using your levitate ability and things like that that's fun um, so we already did that. Let's, uh, you know, there's lots of things we could get. Helmets, pauldrons, breastplates, even a shirt. Uh, but cloaks are probably one of the coolest things too because cloaks also flap in the wind. We could buy a long cloak. Let's buy a long cloak. We got long. Oh, we can't afford it. That's right. We don't have enough money yet. But abilities too, you also be able to buy more abilities. So you start off with your basic abilities. Boomerang is sort of like an alternate ranged ability where you so you could buy this with your forge and be able to use a boomerang instead of the bow. You could choose that during the match while you're playing, right? So during the match, you're leveling up, gaining all these new abilities. And um, if you have the boomerang, you're gonna have a choice between getting either bow or boomerang when you're upgrading your levels and in, in during a match. So this is pretty neat. So you can get all these abilities where you have these choices, you can branch out live during the match while you're playing you can choose which abilities to get all right so um are we somewhere we are we're docked at the world battle so we now we have uh the hair and um the long hair and not the cloak but we can go into the battle world and um start battling with this new whole forged stuff so remember this player has no um no item up no ability upgrades yet so I'm just gonna go ahead and like rip through some of these uh, these abilities you would get, right? Um, I just uh, cheated to get level two, and now we can get either the bow or the shield, right? So this is where you would have the option to get the boomerang if I possess the boomerang item, but I don't, so I'm just gonna get the bow. We've got shield, boots, and boots are a real fun one too because the, you can buy levitate, and levitate is let's uh, let's just show you what levitate looks like. I love levitate. Let's say I had enough money. Hey, let's just buy levitate. Let's get let's get enough money to buy levitate. I don't know how much that is. Let's do like a hundred and ninety nine credits for now. We'll go to the forge, we'll buy buy the levitate, and use it in battle. So you can see what that would be like. Buy that. Yes! Okay, so now we have the ability to levitate. Not on the ship yet. I think I might make it so you can do all your abilities on the ship, too. I don't know. And once again, this is going to be a choice. So, um, as we level up... Uh, once again, I'm cheating here to do these level ups. Boom. So once we get to this level where we where um, the the speed abilities are enabled, we can choose between boots or levitate, and whichever one we choose is what we're gonna have for the rest of the match. We can level that up. We can get higher levels of levitate and higher levels of boots, but 
once we choose levitate we can't get boots and once we choose boots we can't get levitate Either, this is a choice right here at this point and it's because i possess this item so levitate boom we're getting it and oh yeah i love the levitate ability um it's super fun and uh it's probably gonna be one of the more expensive -er items expensive -er is totally a word Whee! isn't that fun so there you have it that's what's new making the game wraith binder working on this forge and lots of work left to do here with this forge in fact let's quit and go back to the um the ship and i'll talk about what there is uh left to do here i'll cheat and go over here faster there we go i think what i want to do here is create some sort of two-dimensional pixel art uh border artwork where you're like accessing this really cool forge with cool sci-fi glowing things so basically make this screen look a little bit better and um there's a lot of work left to do with these characters too like uh they're looking pretty good so far but what i think could look even better is if i interpolate the voxels positions for these high res 3d models um rather than just going from a pixel to or voxel to voxel position interpolating the voxel between its its position to the next position so that could look a lot smoother and it would look kind of like what um the characters look like when i'm using uh blender to make them to make all these animations so let's get one of these characters open and you'll see what i'm talking about here's the idle animation when your sword is on your your blade is on your back I'm just kind of like using the, uh, where's that play icon? I don't use Blender every day. Oh well. Um, so basically, uh, yeah, this is kind of what it looks like when he's animating, right? See how smoothly you can interpolate these these voxel positions? I've got all that data. I just need to implement the, uh, the making it look smooth in there. So yeah, so that's it. Working on the forge is really fun. And working on the continuity of making this world something where you can explore different planets and grow your character as you explore and play with others eventually so that's all making the game wraith binder for now thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one later